I'm going to show you how to remove the struts on a 2011 Dodge Charger. Um, I did it on this side already. And I've seen some videos where I see people removing the, uh, the upper control arm. But I didn't have to do that. I just removed the caliper out of the way. And that was pretty much the way to do it for me. Uh, I'm pretty sure somebody else has a better idea, but as I told you before in other videos, I'm really not a mechanic. I just do this on my cars. And uh, I'll show you how to do, the, do it on this side because I already did that side. So the first thing is just going to be removing this. it off and you loosen this three nuts with the uh, number 14 socket then uh, gonna remove this one right here with a uh, it is a 13 16 and a 10 socket here to keep it in place and So I'm going to start by loosening this bolt right here. Okay, so now I'm going to work on this part and the first thing that I did was uh, use the, just a regular floor jack to support it and, uh, because as you loosen it uh, you need to drop it a little bit and play with it. go now okay, let me position this for you guys so we're gonna remove this one right here and remove the bottom nut uh, bolt for the strut and remove the remove the caliper from the uh, from the caliper bracket. So let's get started. For this one, I used the, this is a 1316. And see, it turns what the, it turns what the uh, bolt right there. So, this is a 10 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket to help.
you know, that comes out. Let's see what's this one here. This is an 18. This is a number 18. Now on the original strut, the nut on the other end, it's integrated. On the new one, it's not. It comes with this one. So it's no big deal. It's just, you use the same bolt, but the new nut for it. I'm going to remove the caliper. And with that, let me move this back for you guys. Now this is the new strut I got, so when you remove it, just keep in mind that you have to make sure that you remember the orientation of the triangle here, because these two are closer to each other than this one, so um, you'll see on the positioning on top. Actually, this is number 13, 13 millimeters, not 14. Not that it's a big deal, but you know. Remove this caliper.
loosen it. Let's move it out of the way so we can remove that. Now we have this off and then the bottom one is going to come off in a second and let me lift it a little bit. Here's the new one. It comes with the, everything that you need. Again, remember this is the position. The two closest ones go towards the inner part of the of the uh, uh, engine, and the one outer one it's by itself. I got this struts at Rock Auto. Uh, they were pretty cheap. Now remember it says not to remove the middle nut in the center it's just because this is pressurized and you don't need to do anything with it. And then let's start the install process. three there
cut it over a little bit. I'm going to take the bolt out so that I can put it over there. so that it's aligned. Let's put the caliper back on. Now we're going to lift this with the jack to align it, so that we can put the bolt in it.
Okay, so. There it goes from this end. It's a thirteen sixteen. No, nope, actually it's an 18. The other end is 13, 16. 18. And this one is the 1316 that I was telling you about. Okay, so, and this one right here. And this one is the 10 millimeter and the 
Alright, so now the whole bottom is done. Okay. We'll just tighten the top three bolts. I mean three nuts. And that was again the number 13 on that. 